But last week, I'm, why am I throwing this knife around? Last week, I made a tweet telling you guys that I ordered something weird on the internet to unbox for you. And you guys guessed a lot of crazy things. And then I realized that the thing I ordered is not that weird. So today we're gonna unbox it. It's arrived. If you've been watching our channel recently, you'll know that we've been renovating our house. And you'll also know that I am obsessed with a certain paint brand and finish, Bantra Memora Regal Select Matte Finish. It's the only paint I ever use, and you guys ask a lot what it is, what the colors are. I'll leave a blog post in the description below with all of the colors that are my favorite. But because we're in social distancing slash isolation mode and not a lot of things are open, I can't just run to the paint store and pick up my Bantra Memora paint. Now I was scrolling through Instagram, and somebody's branding caught my eye. I'm obsessed with good packaging, good branding, and sometimes I just buy shit because of the way the packaging looks. So that's kind of what happened. I bought paint on the internet that's not Benjamin Moore, and I'm nervous. This is a really weird video. I hope you guys stick around because it's like, who the f cares? I'm unboxing paint. The first thing we need is my trusty Buffalo Co knife. Second thing, because of Corona, I need Lysol wipes. These are Clorox wipes. We haven't done an unboxing video in a while, so that, like, I feel like a little bit awkward. So I'm pretty sure this is the paint inside here. I ordered white paint and it's supposed to have a matte finish. So let's unbox this. First of all, love the branding on the box. Love the branded tape, big fan. So, ooh, I really like how this looks. It says it's not just paint, it's your backdrop, which I thought was super fitting considering that we're painting the studio and painting the drone factory. So I think this is my receipt. No, it's not. Ugh. Oh, oh, oh my God. They don't have a lot of colors, but the colors that they have are really pretty. So by the way, this is not sponsored. I paid for all of this shit and I found it on Instagram and just decided I wanted to try it. We've got a little cheesecloth. I got an itchy nose. I'm touching all this packaging. And I know that this was shipped like five days ago, but oh, I feel like I need to wash my hands. Paint stick. Looks like the paint was damaged during shipping, but it's not leaking, so that's good. So the paint came in this can, which is different. Uh, normally paint comes in a circular can. What is this video? I'm literally reviewing paint. Jesus. Mm -hmm. And get the handle, because you know somebody would be touching that. Get my hands, you're not supposed to do that, but I did it. I just did it. All right, so that's the paint. I ordered the Super Moon in standard finish. They don't have like an ultimate matte finish. Their standard finish apparently is like a matte-ish finish. We'll test it later in this video and see how it looks and how it finishes and how it covers. And the price of this paint is comparable to the Benjamin Moore paint that I use all the time. This was, I think, $58. This is the pure bright white. So I thought this would be comparable to my favorite decorator's white from Benjamin Moore. The last time I tried a different paint brand, it went horribly wrong. This is the first time we're trying out this Bear Marquee paint. It says, one coat hide guaranteed. This is what happens when you don't use tried and true. One hour later. This is not white. Link up here. I didn't just order paint. I had to see what other accessories they had and what it was packaged like because I'm bent. Ooh, yes. Give me that typography, that black type on white. Let's pull this off. Okay, I think that these are my samples. So I ordered roller covers and I ordered a new cage. It says paint like you mean it in here. <laughs> and then I, of course, I bought um, a roller tray as well. I bought a painter shirt too, but it's not here yet. This is getting old quick. Sanitizing everything. I've gone through so many Lysol wipes. Do you know I went to the grocery store the other day? It took me an hour and a half to get groceries and an hour and a half to sanitize and put everything away. Oh, I like that. That's cool. Look at that. I am gonna go wash my hands and paint the drone factory with this finish. And then I'm gonna let you guys know, A, how it stacks up to my favorite paint. B, if it covers good, and probably give you a little sneak peek of what's happening in the drone factory right now. Very excited. Very excited. This is the best roller cover I've ever used. I very much like it. It holds a lot of paint. It doesn't drip. White probably was not the best color to give this example with. However, this white is a nice neutral white, which I like. It's not pulling any pink. It's not pulling any 
yellow, it's a nice white white, which is excellent because the last time, well, you saw it happen last time. Slightly warmer than what the primer was. It's too bad I didn't pick an actual color so you could see a more dramatic transformation. Okay, I get some questions about how to paint. Here's the thing, you need to have enough paint on your roller to cover the wall, but you also need to back roll to make sure you don't have any drips, but you have to make sure you do it wet so you don't pull off the finish, because some people have been messaging me saying that they got splotches in their matte walls. So tip, you wanna prep your walls first, light sanding. I primed this already, so I didn't do that. So wet edge here, you're gonna follow this part of your roller, the arm. You're gonna overlap the wet edge. Make sure it's wet or you're gonna take the finish off. Big, long, up and down. Make sure you overlap a little bit. And then once your roller is ready to be recoated, just go back and lightly top to bottom, back roll to get rid of any of the lines. That's it. Now I got like a really good coating on this and this is actually not dripping, which is good. Some of the other ones I have drip because they collect on the edge. This one does not. It's looking good. Actually, the finish is really nice. It's covering good. Not that you guys can see it because it's literally white over white. Okay, I'm gonna finish this wall, then I'm gonna paint that wall, and then we're gonna talk about our thoughts and uh, see what Chris thinks. All right, so we're all painted. Happy with the texture, what I can tell from the coverage, and the color. Very happy with the color. I was very concerned about that. It's definitely matte. I'm gonna have to do one more coat on all of the walls, but I feel like it's not fair to comment on the coverage without painting something dark because you can't say, oh, coverage is really good when you're painting a white wall with white paint. No. Covered some red chalk line and it covered Wicket, but um, we're gonna paint this piece of OSB and see how it covers. Got this OSB, we're gonna take the roller, a little bit of paint, and we'll paint over that. Oh, actually that's like pretty good for white this. I would call that pretty good for white. Is it inspection time? Grubby fingers on my brand fresh new white walls. Hey, what do you think of this white that's just slightly different than the white that the primer was? <laughs> well, it looks very similar to the primer white. It's a nice finish though. It is a yeah. really beautiful, it's pretty matte. It is, yeah. It's pretty matte, yeah. Pretty flat. Um, I'm wearing another illegal tuxedo. These are it's my, not terrible. These are my painting pants. This is your hat. You look sweet in that hat. And, thank you. That's... And I haven't shaved in like a week or maybe two, but I wear a mask all day at work, somebody knows. It looks nice. Actually, there yeah. are no lines, it's good. Uh, you got the nice moist edge. Oh, why are you doing that with your hand? Tell us what happened. Tell us why there wasn't a video last Sunday. What happened? We lost a card full of footage. Oh my God, yeah. We cut OSB to make OSB walls here. We had a whole sequence shot, which then went missing. I think Chris accidentally formatted it and then we shot over it. So we did try to recover it, but no luck. Okay, my final thoughts on the paint. A, I love the twist on cap. Makes pouring and cleanup so much easier than a normal paint can. Wicked. B, the white is perfect. It's not too cold. It's not too warm. It's a nice neutral. I like it. What's it called? C, it's What's... called It's called Super Moon sta in standard finish. Super Moon. That's their pure bright white. Really pleased with the finish. It's actually really matte. I think I would definitely order again. I had a positive experience with this brand that was not Benjamin Moore Regal Select Matte. Wow, that's saying a lot. You've never deviated from Benjamin Moore. The one time I deviated from Benjamin Moore, that was the worst because we had to paint that brick wall, like up here. I like the packaging. I mostly bought, only bought it for the packaging and pleasantly surprised you and pleased with the finish and paint. You'll buy spaghetti for the packaging. True. Ooh, matte black. With nice type. That did happen. All right, so here's a sneak peek. A little Cabinets. bit of cabinetry done. There's a countertop. You've seen the floor. There's a countertop. Waterfall edge with the double miter. Just look at this. This is a sneak peek, so. Um, oh my God. So that's it. Yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified when we post new videos. We will see you on the next one. Goodbye. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> You idiot. Did I get like, um, is it like- Here, look, let me flip the screen up and you tell me. Oh my God, it's perfect. That's a perfect- <laughs> It's dripping down onto your lip. Get up. Come on, bye. All right, here we go. Beep.